cup and the keys of the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And Mrs. Kovacs, if you would do the roll, please. Sure. Um, Anita Jagodzinski? Here. Kate Mayer excused. Tim Mettinger? Here. Colin Trivet? Here. Lisa Collins? Here. Gary Dunlap is excused. Joe Giddens? Here. And Cheryl Hancock is excused as well. All right. Uh, we have three of the, I'm sorry, four of the seven board members present, and I will declare a quorum. Uh, approval of the agenda. I would note that the agenda has been posted, distributed, and sent to the local media. With this in mind, are there any changes to the agenda? Um, seeing none, I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda as published. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay, Tim has moved and Joe has seconded to approve the agenda as published. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to approve the agenda as published, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please signify by saying no. Motion passes. Um, public participation. Is there anyone who wishes to address the board relative to any item at this time? We ask that a five minute time limit per person be followed. Please state your name, address, and topic to be addressed. Anyone? All right, moving along. Uh, reports and discussion the 2013 14 food service meal prices. Mike Gasper. Good evening. Um, as you know, it's that time of the year again where we have to uh, set prices for the upcoming, fast upcoming school year. Um, as you recall last year, th with the passage of the Healthy Hungry Free Kids Act, um, the federal government requires that we charge a certain price, uh, which basically is the difference between a paid meal reimbursement and a free meal reimbursement. Um, this year that would be $2.59. Uh, they have a formula where they figure out our weighted average price, uh, which right now is $2.31. So we have a gap of uh, $0.28 cents that we have to make up. Uh, they also, part of the law states that you don't have to raise the price more than $0.10 cents in any given year. Uh, so essentially what we are <coughs> asking for is a $0.10 cent increase in the lunch price. Uh, but no increase to the breakfast price as that is not uh, regulated by the same law. So, any questions? Anyone? All right. And this will come to the board for approval at the next board meeting. I guess I just had one when I was reading through. Um, you said there's a 28 cent gap. How long do they give us to make up the 28 cent gap? Each year, um, the max or the minimum that you have to raise is 10 cents, and that'll go on so indefinitely, long. essentially, until you meet that threshold. Basically, uh, at this rate, I would say it's probably going to take us another three years. Okay. All right. Thank you. You bet. Okay. Uh, moving on to board member reports and discussion. I'll call upon board members in the order of the roll, and. Um, first would be Tim Mettinger. The only one thing I have for tonight is that after this evening, there is only one more school board meeting before football practice starts. All right. That's it. Uh, Colin Turbin. Um, just notice next week on Tuesday, the 16th, the high school student council will be holding their second blood drive for this year. So I invite everyone to join. It's up at the LGI from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I hope to see you all there. Thank you. Um, Lisa Collins? No, I'm not here. Okay, Gary Dunlap is absent. Joe Gittins? Well, Gary's not here, and I'm just dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Cheryl is gone, and I have nothing to add. No committee reports, nothing else. So uh, moving on, uh, we have the board correspondence folder being passed around, and then the board meeting schedule. We have a board meeting July 22nd, and then a tentative meeting August 8th at 5:30, which is a special board development workshop. Uh, then we have a board meeting August 12th, uh, the six o'clock August 26th board meeting, and the seven o'clock August 26th budget hearing. 8 o'clock August 26th annual meeting and then September 9th board meeting September 23rd board meeting 
that is our upcoming calendar. Uh, next we have the consent agenda items. Um, looking at the consent agenda items, are there any items that anyone would like to see considered separately? And if not, I would entertain a motion to approve the items on the consent agenda as presented. So moved. Is there a second? Second. second. Any discussion? All right, hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to approve the consent agenda items as presented, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The motion passes. And is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. For the second? Second. Any discussion? All right, all those in favor of adjourning at 7.07, .07, signify wow. by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. We are adjourned at 7.07. .07. I would like that to go down on the record. <laughs> Fastest school board meeting ever. Sure. Is that a record? Pretty good. We'll have to, <laughs> you know, I'll talk to Cheryl too in matters like this as we get further in.